Hey everybody and welcome to part 5 of Donkey Kong Country 3, Dixie's Double Trouble. Today we'll be doing Rocket Barrel Ride, the first water level in the third world, because we did the fourth world first. Technically, I guess they both count as third slash fourth world, but... Yeah, I love the sound effects of the enemies dying in this world. That sounds cruel, but it's true and it's awesome. If you guys watched my last episode, I went on a slight rant about how I hate the monetization issues that we have on YouTube. Like, if you're gonna, like, monetize me, or, like, you know, um, give me a copyright claim, make sure it's for the right game. Like, I don't care if Donkey Kong Country whatever gets copyrighted. But I'm gonna be pissed if you copyright it for a different game. Like, I brought up the fact that my Donkey Kong Country Returns LP was copyrighted with the 3DS version of the game's content. And I'm like, that's that's not how it works, man. Also, there are some goodies over there, but I think we need to go up a little bit higher to get them. Well, I don't believe you actually have to, but it's easier to. Upsy daisy. Oh, okay, maybe not. What? Why did you roll but not jump? Eh, whatever. It gives me time to have some pop. I don't have any water with me today while recording, so it's a bit of a bummer not as healthy, but Coca-Cola is still good. It's my favorite drink when, uh, when, uh, playing World of Warcraft. I love Coca-Cola. My girlfriend's not as big on Coca-Cola as I am. But it's still cool, you know. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think there's like any bonus or anything there. So we don't really have a need to force ourselves into some pain and misery doing that. Also, crip, crip, crump. I I don't really know. I think I think there's like one called crip and crump, or something like that. And whoa, whoa, whoa! No ma no momentum there, boys. I say boys because I believe literally everyone who watches this LP is a guy. Okay, nothing over here. Oh, that was dangerous. Don't want to do it while the buzz is... Apparently, Kitty can't make it. Okay, we're off to a rough start. I don't know if I'm going to have that edited out. I sometimes forget to edit out certain, you know, issues. Oh god, I give Jedi credit for having like hour long uh, episodes for his Super Mario series. Like, well, I mean, why did I say Super Mario? I meant Paper Mario. We were talking about Super Paper Mario, and that's what threw me off. But I give him credit for that. Like, I could not do that because, well, first of all, I don't have the memory on my computer. And I guess having like one hour long episode a day would technically beat having three 20 minute parts a day. So, technically, he has it going on, but it's just, uh, I don't have the computer memory for it. Okay, we found out there's nothing over there. I don't know, finding the bonuses in these, uh, waterfall levels can be very annoying. Also, I believe that's the guy who goes hand-to-hand -hand with the little guy, like the little claptrap type enemy. Slash, clamp-on enemy. The big guy and him kind of share funny names with each other. Also, I believe this is the first bonus over here. Yeah, across the bug platforms. I also got a text message, but I'm not going to be able to answer that till probably after this level, you know? I don't want to interrupt a level or recording in particular with my shenanigans. And there we go. Pretty easy. Now, coin generally isn't the most difficult thing to find. It's the bonuses. Like, I mean literally the bonuses are the most difficult things to find here. Just literally look everywhere. Okay. Nothing over here? Shoot! I did not mean to fall down. Just like sometimes going behind the waterfalls, your jumping is hindered because of like walls and stuff. Okay, um, I have an issue with Kitty right now, not jumping when he's behind that waterfall, so I'm not going behind it ever again. 
Sorry, kitty. Also, perfect spot to hide something is right over here. But there's nothing. So, no point of doing that. I apologize, guys. This might be one of those levels where it's actually not that hard to find the, uh... Oh. Find the bonus. Generally, you need Dixie, so... Also, we got Perry the Parakeet again. And he couldn't make it because his darn heavy jump. I'm just going to reply to this text message real quickly. I like how we haven't technically beaten a level in this uh, episode yet. But, you know, here we are. Six minutes in. Nothing accomplished yet. Like, I honestly think Dixie makes both this game and Donkey Kong Country 2. Even Donkey Kong Country returns tropical free. Oh, now you jump! I knew there was a bear coin back there, but no. He didn't want to make it. He refused to make it. The darn dirty ape. You know what? I want the life. Thank you. At least with at least with Dixie, we can do the whole parry the parakeet part really easy. Kind of. Wait, parry might be for uh, the DK coin. I'm not entirely sure. Because I don't think he's worth the bonus until a cliff level. Hey guys, how you guys doing? I knew there were goodies back here. It's too good to be true, you know? Oh, well, too good not to have anything back there. Right, Perry? The most annoying bird in existence? What? No! Oh, wait, what? What was he worth then? Here's the bonus. Oh man, I am an idiot. And did we seriously need to have two of these in the same level? I get that this one's a little different, but it's still collect the stars. This is not the darn banana one. Like, the green bananas. No one likes that one. Like, it's so annoying. There we go, right on the bonus floor. Now we just need coin. I thought he was honestly worth coin's barrel, but apparently not. He must have been worth like a... Actually, no, I think he was worth a 3-up balloon. Okay, now this part's a little tricky, so you actually want this barrel. In the GBA version, I think... Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? Why are we sliding down? Um, I believe in the GBA version, you actually, uh... The speed of that barrel's changed. Also, we're done! Yay! Eight minutes in and we finally beat the level. That was bad. I apologize. But anyways, we have the Creeping Clasps level. I believe this is the last wharf level of the game. Unless you're playing the GBA version and you have the level known as Stormy Seas. Which is actually one of my favorite levels in the GBA version because it is very well designed. Actually, did I have this? Okay, sorry about that edit. Uh, things were just bugging me for a bit there. Also, I didn't think I was going to get that, but apparently we did. So I really do like the uh, coloring here. Like these, like the background and the ropes. And... Also, yeah, there's that hungry fish again in the water. And he's out for blood, so don't go in the water. And I mentioned there's going to be the, this one again. Yay, I didn't even mean to have to do this one again. This one's actually not bad. I don't mind this one. This one you can at least go pretty fast. I don't know why I did that extra jump. I clicked the jump button by accident. That was funny. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I like how the bonus victory music still has like the same music as Donkey Kong Country 2. But yet the bonus music itself is different. I'm like, I don't know why they couldn't have changed that. Also, this is Clasp. I forget what is, uh... I know there's Kachaka. I forget what the ones that run around and try and hit you around are. You know what their names are. 
So I feel like this level is really easy. Also, that was painful because there is a bonus down here. That one's hard to get to without taking a little bit of damage, but ah, uh, this one. This one you just gotta take your time with. So it's not difficult. Yeah, we're low on time, but we'll make it. See? Told you. I don't know, I feel like the wharf levels are just all easy. Actually, this one doesn't have any annoying thing to get. Like, you have to either glide and if you fail, you screw it up. Or, like, if you do the whole, like, roll jump you f and fail, you screw up. Yeah, they, they, they don't do that in this level. At least you have some recovery. Also, that was funny because I didn't realize there was going to be a clasp there until I jumped in. I'm like, wait a minute, there's going to be a clasp, isn't there? Also, that was a very delayed roll. Probably because I just, like, broke out of the uh, barrel. So it was, like, a little choppy on that. I don't know. Hey, at least you can get our life back. You know, because gamers, like I said before, have no life. I did it again. I seriously did it twice in a row. I don't know why I do that. I should just be Dixie for most of this. That would totally be worth like a photo or something in like Donkey Kong Country for the GBA. Even though there is no, fo there are no photos in it. Uh, back in Donkey Kong Country One, if you could hit three or more enemies in a row, generally you got a photo. But anyways, that's another level done. A pretty easy one to be honest. Time for the next water level or waterfall level. Barrel or tracker barrel track. I was gonna say barrel tracker track, but I'm like, that's not right, guys. I said it backwards. Now this one can't remember if it's this one or the third waterfall level that has the annoying to find uh, bonuses. Also, I didn't realize DK barrels roll. Alright, time to go over here. Yeah, this level isn't as pretty as the other one if you guys like know this. You literally jump on him and he's like, Bring it! You can't beat me, Dixie! I'll kill one. Just because I'm feeling mean. I'll just kill the one porcupine enemy that I don't like. Also, bonus! Wow! A third star bonus in one of these waterfall levels? Let me guess. The fourth bonus will also be collect this. Actually, I believe. Actually, no. I'm thinking of the next level, so I don't know. Maybe it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, we did it. The next level is kind of annoying to deal with, though. I'm not looking forward to the next level. And also, there we go. That's some skills right there. That's some skills that didn't really make sense. It should have been, those are some skills, but those are some mighty awesome skills there. Awesome comic book writer, Solar Warlock. It'd be cool to actually go by Solar Warlock as like my comic creator name. Also, Ellie the Elefante makes her triumphant return. I don't know why I always say triumphant return. This is just a return. Donkey Kong Country, Ellie returns. Also, last bonus. Never mind, it's the third waterfall level that has like the really random placed bonus. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that, are we guys? We're not gonna talk about that at all. Luckily, we spawn right over here. Well, not even really spawn, just pop up back here. Let's not jump into the beetle this time. <laughs> Easier said than done, am I right? Boink, boink. Whoa. Almost jumped right into that beetle. Like, I honestly hate this waterfall level. Not because of its design, like, how, what type of level it is or anything. It's just the color scheme is so bland. But then again, not all waterfalls are super beautiful. Also, free bear coin. Suck up some water here. Act as a weapon. That was pretty bad. Also, 
once again hit the B in the back, not the B that I was actually aiming for. I do that a lot in this game. Oh, hey there. Is that technically the A button? Just without the A looking right? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they were getting at. Okay, all that we're missing is coin. Oh, luckily I had some water left because I needed to kill you to get that bear coin safely. Yeah, I have a real big feeling that's exactly what we're going to have to do is have like a one-time thing. Yep. Oh okay, yeah, that barrel was really slow when it hit the wall. Like, what are you doing, barrel? Also, it's like it, it, you thought you were done. Nope. You got the DK coin, all the bonuses, and you beat the Ellie part. Nope. We still have one more barrel challenge before you actually beat the level. Also, we got a text message to answer really quickly. And my girlfriend says her knee hurts. So while I answer this text, we will check out what our save progress is at. We're at 41%. That's not bad. My girlfriend's knee hurts, by the way. Like, she has this, like, weird swelling on her knee. She was supposed to get an x-ray, but we never did go, because we didn't want to go out in 35-degree heat, take a bus down there, and then, you know, deal with stuff like that. Also, one of the most annoying levels of the game, Fish Food Frenzy. This is in my top uh, five least favorite Donkey Kong Country levels of all time. I don't think Returns or Tropical Freeze have any of them, because I can get over the, the difficulty with the beauty of the levels, so... Oh, the music is always so sad. It makes me feel like it's like an Earthworm Jim type game. I guess I've ever played Earthworm Jim, let me know in the comment section below. Today's uh, comment, if you guys have been watching the video, is did you guys ever play Earthworm Jim or did you at least hear of Earthworm Jim? Did you guys ever watch the TV show, play the video games, stuff like that? Also, I believe this is the first bonus. Yep, there it is. And once again, coin will be at the end of the level. Also, the really random... Collect the bananas with nothing else going on. You know, really funny, eh? Like, you have... Like, even the first collect the green banana bonus was not like this. It wasn't this easy. I guess it's because, like, you have swimming mechanics. I guess that makes it somewhat more difficult, but still not that difficult. Okay, avoid all of the uh, Barboses. Barboses? No, they're, they have some other name. I forget their name now. Barbos is the big version, not the, not the little version. Okay, I'm like, did you go and eat that enemy without my permission there, buddy? No, buddy! Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, he's close to eating us. Come on, eat that fish. There you go. Frick, we can never get him past uh, that color. You know what? Screw this. If I die there, I die. Okay, there we go. Thank you, fish. Yeah, we still didn't learn this fish's name because the level is literally just called Fish Food Frenzy. Also, no bonus over there. Also, oh, I thought he was going to eat it for a minute. I'm like, don't you dare eat that enemy. Oh. I, I think I remember where the bonus is. And it is behind one of the bass or bass. It's not Baza either. It's not Baza or Barbos. Baz is the freaking uh Barracuda. Oh uh, Lurchin. Lurchin. Lurchin's their name. They're Lurchins. Also the G. Why did I grab that? Because I spelled Kong. I didn't spell Kong. Okay, I want this real quickly. I'm getting like notifications on my iPod like crazy about Facebook and stuff. Not even stuff that like I'm like part of. Why why did you eat both of them? Are you that freaking dumb, fish? If they make your tummy hurt, why eat them? You fool. Come on, eat the fish. Eat this fish as well. That almost hit me there, buddy, but Whatever. Oh, wrong one. Shoot. 
No, it's this one. It's this one. Yeah, we found it! Gotta remember, it's the third one. Also, bash the baddies, but with a fish. So it's like, eat the baddies. Should have changed the bonus name for it, you know? It's like, eat the baddies. Wait, did I actually eat that one over there? No. So I guess if you don't hear the, the bite sound, then he didn't technically eat the fish. So they give you a generous amount of time for this bonus. They really do. Hopefully he comes back blue. Okay, good. Oh, and that's the end of the level. Thank heavens. Hey, thanks for Dixie... Dixie Kong... Also, here's coin. Really easy to get coin. Uh, there is one, I believe, where you actually need the second Kong, but they don't give you the second Kong, so it's like, ooh, difficult. Anyways, I think we have time to take on the boss. And that is... Squirt's Showdown. This is an interesting boss. Because you're Ellie the Elefante. So yeah, the concept of the level is you gotta avoid his water squirts. No one knows what type of creature he is, but judging from the fact that he looks like a snail, I'm gonna call him a snail. Also, I believe the GBA version made this fight harder. I think it takes more hits to beat him, as well as the fact that he sh his water pushes you more. Or, nope, never mind. The water does push you. I, I wanted to test it, but I guess I guess it's harder. Like y you can jump through like the broken water segments, just not the solid water segments. So this part's like really easy. Also, be careful because these cliffs are moss covered, so they're slippery. It's like having ice physics without actually needing ice. What? Did you seriously shoot through his eyeball? You suck, Ellie. Can you... It's like, can you stop that? So we're gonna have to go around this one twice, I believe. Yeah, see, like, the very end of the, the water is, like, broken apart. So you can go through that one a little easier. Also, I was scared that was actually gonna come for me again. Whoa, whoa! No! You gotta be forking kidding me. All because you just slid off the hill, man. Uh, I was never a fan of this boss fight. It's not difficult. Like, there was, like, one of my LPs. I think it was my GBA version. You guys should, should check it out. I think that's the one where I flawlessly beat this. It also might have been on my uh, other channel that I... WHAT THE FRICK WAS THAT?! Also, like, the water didn't push me that time, but I didn't jump either, so it's like... You gotta be kidding me, man. You gotta be kidding me. You got to be kidding me, game. Yeah, man. My name's Squirt, the overpowered boss. Like, how you doing, bro? Also... Did you guys see that? I shot, but it shot air. Like my water meter didn't go down and nothing happened. It's like, hey, you can't even you can't even like fake do it, man. You gotta like go as quickly as possible when he starts up again. Like, that's the annoying part. At least I think it's a he, it could be a she. All I know is it's an it. It is just some kind of like could be a crab as well. Oh, I'm like, I am not dying again, game. I think this is the final one. Run! Don't stop, Ellie the Elephant. Yeah, I'm not calling you Elefante this time, because... You don't get to have the cute name. Yeah, see, in this game, it only has three phases. In the other game, it has more than three phases. 
And some of them, like, split the water apart and stuff, so it's absolutely crazy. So anyways, guys, in the next episode, we will be going to Funky to get our new boat because we have those two jet skis. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and also to comment... What was my comment about this time? I don't know. Comment your least favorite Donkey Kong level. Peace out.